Okay, so I need to do a little explaining before this video starts. Now, this was part of our sort of end of the year summer trip that we went on. And what we ended up doing was literally going up from the bottom of the St. Mary's River all the way to the top. We kind of fished kind of everywhere along the St. Mary's River. It was a really cool, you know, new experience to be able to fish. Okay, yeah, I can say I fished the entire St. Mary's River. We fished tons and tons of species. But in this video, you guys are gonna see some jumbo perch, some walleye. A couple of really nice catfish and a couple of nice bass you guys so we kind of got to do everything we wanted to do in this trip and for us to be able to go out and do this much and catch this many different types of fish was just awesome now enough talking let's get to the video cue the b-roll There he is, the jumbo perch. Pretty little guy, we've caught a couple of these. We're coming back tonight, and hopefully we can get a bunch more of these and a bunch more walleye. That's what the objective is in coming here, but hopefully we can do it. There he is, he's about 10 and a quarter. Perfect eaters. He says it's better than a perch. Same spot I was last time. Same spot he just missed one in. Last loop. Wow, oh my gosh, that's a monster, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez. Holy oh, crap. Looky there. Another jumbo. That one's got to be at least 10 again. That's a nice fish. 11. Dad thinks it's 11. Okay, I got him. First walleye of the day here. That's what we're after right there. <laughs> Alright, here he is. Drop shot jig rig. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but we got a heavy jig on the bottom and then a little little lower jig up top. That's what he hit on and that's what I caught him on. So yeah. So while we're doing it today, you guys, this walleye is probably my favorite type of fishing that I've done this year. There's a video that I did and that'll be found right here. That video was so much fun. It was one of my first videos. We were jigging for walleye in the Saginaw River like early year. So much fun. You just, boom. And it just, you know what I mean? I caught a big fish that video. Um, you guys will have to check it out. It's it's really, it was really, really fun. We caught a really big fish at the end there. But uh, this is my favorite type of fishing, so happy to be out here doing it. He's hitting. Oh, big one. Oh. Look at that hook set right there. This is definitely a pike here. Work it slow, Dad. What you doing out here? I don't have any steel leader. I'm trying to get him up so I can see him. Yeah. Okay, this dude is really running here. This could be a really good pike. Nope. That is a carp. A carp? What the Interesting, heck? huh? Get the net. Hey, get Mom. Perch. Get it. See? I don't know what it is yet. I can't quite see. Coming back around. Okay. Keep looking, Pa. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, it's a catfish. Holy crazy. Yeah, these things fight like all good. Gosh, he's staying down. This is a good fight, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, turn back over. Got him. You know, you're still caught. 
Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice looking cat. Yeah. Great shape, huh? Caught him on the worm in the jig head. Obviously, you got to be careful of the barbs here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nice catfish. How's that fight, Dad? That was a good fight. I didn't know what I had on. Yeah. I was thinking maybe walleye at first, but then I realized, <laughs> no, this can't be a walleye. <laughs> yeah, we actually thought it was snagged at first, didn't we? Yeah. He pull, first pulled up, it kind of chilled out. There it is. Man, I can barely fit it in frame here. This is a great catfish. That's, that's our second one of the year of these channels. These guys are good eaters. I'm not sure if we'll actually eat them, though. Again, you got to watch out for the barbs on the... On the end there, and then on the point belly. right there. <laughs> what are you doing? His fat belly. Five pounds. About five pounds. That's not bad. We're going to try this cat. Never eaten cat before. Always hear about it, but we're going to try it. Holy cow. The head or the tail is absolutely gone. We're gonna take this bobber off. That's what we were waiting for. Jeez. That's why we set this thing with a bobber. We were free spooling it. That's it right there. Gone. Good thing we have been catching other little perch here we can put on, but holy cow. That's just shredded. Darn. We would have thought a perch or a pike that big would absolutely swallow it, but I guess it didn't get it down all the way. But it's good to know that we're doing something right here. This might be another cat right here, either a big pike or a big cat. My, here's the camera. Let's see. If it's a pike. No, it's a cat, dude. Oh, missed. Just barely. Bring him in, Pa. Ah, darn. It's just too low here. He's working slow. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, I can't. Oh, there he goes. There he goes again. Like, he won't come up high enough. There we go. Now I got him. Jeez. Get him in the boat. Good night. Oh, he's huge. Not that hard. That, uh... How many pounds? Looks like another four. Five. Five pounder. Okay. <laughs> Hold him out. I was gonna see. You want me to do the phone? Oh my gosh, he doesn't even this guy doesn't look as thick, but he's definitely longer here. Here he is. Big old cat. Nice work, Dad. Let's see you get a real big one now, huh? Yep, yep, yep. That's a good fish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to back up, Dad. You gotta get the net. Because I got a big old bobber on there. Yes. Nice fast. <laughs> it was a huge small mouth. Did you get it get splashing? I don't know. And that concludes this week's episode of Try Outdoors. And yeah, I realize it was kind of a tough day of fishing, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, what do you guys think that fish was that bit off the head? There's known to be a ton of muskie in there and also really, really big pike where we were at. And we actually went pike and muskie fishing and that'll be next week's episode. So if you guys really wanna see that episode next week, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification game. We've been gaining subscribers like crazy. It's been awesome guys, thanks for the support. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.